Good evening, this is MTA News at 7. News reaching us is that a suspect has been caught by the authorities for the alleged kidnap of 27 persons I gave, I in Lagos. The suspect who identifies as Jiggy was said to have lured his innocent victims in into his house under the pretense of giving out his birthday gifts. That guy is mentally derailed. He's mad. He should be thrown in Stike prison for God's sake. That guy is my neighbor. He collected my phone and locked me up and other people in one room for a day plus because we refuse to watch one useless film. I don't know anything about the film. I'm not interested in that film. It was an interesting movie, but I still can't get to it. But then I was kidnapped. I'm so depressed. It was so traumatizing. You see that guy? I go mend down. That guy. I go blend down. I go put things for him, body. Talking to a correspondent, the suspect stated his motive. The way, for the the way they are saying this is not like I see that is how it happened. These people, I borrowed them. Bro, Mr. Man, what do you mean by you borrowed them? You need to quiet. You're a fucking kidnapper. Yeah. All this guy, all this guy really cries. They are seeing my status. They are seeing every single thing I'm posting on the internet. How can you call yourself my friend? And you are seeing everything I'm posting. You are seeing my, my this thing. You are not supporting me. If I cannot get your attention by begging you, I will get your attention by forcing you. While in custody, the victims were forced by the suspect to watch a film on YouTube titled Plan Alpha, currently showing on DRTV. One of the victims narrates their situation. My name is Adamu for this estate. I'll be an electrician. Now, Chiki Nine, they give me work for this estate. And he said, in house, now me, they work, electrician work for in house. Man, if woman say this is not a crazy you. What to back and law. Now, Chiki calls me this one. I know just know Chiki call me for electrical work. Now, electrical work carry me call. If I know where I find myself, I don't understand again. I say they need a chop movie, but this one, when me I see, so I feel true and well. The movie did very, very okay. Survivor, who's currently based in the United Kingdom, talks about his side of the story. This boy in question is my cousin. He called me. He called me and said I should come back to Nigeria. I was wondering what's going on. He told me they've done all the very arrangement of the person. I didn't know this guy was planning to kidnap me. I didn't know he's a kidnapper. If not for the grace of God, only God knows where I would have been by now. But thank you, Jesus. The victims were rescued and the suspect arrested after one of the victim's child, in search of his father, followed a trail to the kidnapper's den and alerted. It was my son. Look at my son. He's the one that alerted the police. He found the police and they come and rescue us. So we just want to thank God for saving us through the police. The authorities have charged a suspect to court and there will be a hearing concerning the case in a week's time. This is MTA News 7. My name is Laura. Do stay tuned for the rest of the broadcast.